Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Clone Trooper with Space Gear uh, from the early Clone Wars action figures. Uh, this guy is pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. Here it is, it's the uh, initial Clone Wars um, packaging, so pretty standard. And on the back it's got a picture of the figure, a brief description here. If you'd like to read that, you can just pause the video. And over here, there's the uh, picture of, of this guy from the Clone Wars. Uh, I'll talk more about you know how he actually appeared and how the figure looks a little bit later. Um, here's the other figures uh, that were in this wave as well. So pretty standard packaging. Let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself. He stands, let's see, just under four inches tall. So. Um, right in scale with all of the other Clone Trooper action figures. And he does come with a couple accessories. The first one here is his blaster rifle. Pretty standard, so I don't really need to show that off. He also comes with the smaller blaster pistol. This one's done in gray plastic for some reason, so um, it's kind of cool but just because it's different. Not that it really matters, but it is kind of interesting to see a little bit of variation. He's got this removable mouth breather piece. It's made from a soft rubber, so uh, it moves with the figure. And that just plugs into his chest here. Oops. Let's see if I can do it on camera. There we go. Just like that. Also comes with this jet pack here, which plugs into his uh, chest backpack piece. Just like that. And it also comes with a firing missile. So you just plug it in just like that and you tap down on it. Let's see here if I can do it. There we go. And it fires out. Pretty standard missile. Um, and I'll go ahead and talk about the figure itself. I'll be honest, it's kind of doofy looking. Um, I'll go ahead and take off all of the extra parts so you can see why. He's got this like rubber backpack thing on. Um, I don't know why they felt the need to uh, put this on. I don't think it adds to the figure. In fact, I think it takes away. Um, so I think you could probably take it off if you popped his head off. Um, I just leave it on there because it's not a huge deal to me, but um, you could take it off and he is painted underneath there. So um, I don't know why they, they thought this would be a good idea to put it on here. Um, I really wish they had just done how he appears in the Clone Wars, but uh, they decided to do this for, I don't know, little kids. Um, it's not a huge deal, like I said, because I'm pretty sure you could uh, wrangle it off the figure, um, but I don't know, it's just not the best looking. As far as his articulation goes, it's uh, pretty much what you'd expect. He's got a ball peg in the head, which is limited by this chest backpack piece. He's got ball hinge shoulders that swivel 360, ball hinge elbows that swivel, ball hinge wrists. This one goes horizontally here. And on this side, the hinge goes vertically. He's got, um, it feels like a disc with a swivel on top. Um, so he gets a nice range of motion there. Swivel hips, ball hinged knees with a swivel, and ball hinged ankles with a swivel. So, uh, pretty much what you'd expect for a Clone Wars uh, Clone Trooper figure, uh, just with this kind of doofy backpack. I would imagine you could probably get this guy uh, online for fairly cheap, so if you like the, the wolf pack, uh, this guy's probably worth picking up. Uh, so if you have any comments or questions, uh, please leave them down in the comments section below, and I guess I'll see you later.